Hey yo, what is Poppin' Poppers? In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing Post Malone. So let's get right into it. So on my Todoroki Funk Pop review video, I asked you guys to comment some pops that you guys would want to see a review on. And uh, shout out to Duke Maxwell for the idea for today's video. And he commented Post Malone, so that's why I'm gonna be reviewing Post Malone in today's video. Also, at the time of filming this video, we're at 3,030 subscribers, so thank you so much for all the support. But yeah, for today's video, we're gonna be reviewing Post Malone. He's 111 in the pop uh, rocks line. So on the back of the box, you can actually see his album cover for Beer Bongs and Bentleys, uh, which I thought was pretty neat. Uh, with the barbed wire and stuff like that, which is also the tattoo that he has on the top of his head. I believe this is the album cover for it, where it's just like the barbed wire, I might be wrong about that, but I know for a fact that's like the tattoos on your, on his head, on the top of his forehead, you'll see that later on in the video. But yeah, Post Malone's a really awesome artist, probably one of my favorite artists. Uh, he was one of the top five in my uh, Spotify end year recap, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, the first song that I've heard of Post Malone was way back in like 2016, I believe, 2017. It was Congratulations by Post Malone. And then ever since then, I've just been listening to his music and I love his music. So some quick facts about Post Malone. His name is actually Austin Richard Post and his uh, stage name comes from his name. Uh, his last name is Post. And then for the Malone part, he said that he used a, an interview. I'm not exactly sure with who. Uh, he said that he got the Malone part from a random rap name generator, which I thought was pretty funny. There's a lot of controversy when Post Malone first got announced by Funko because a lot of people said there was a lot of other artists that they could have made. Personally, I disagree because Post Malone has a huge fan base and obviously the pop sold really well. A lot of people love the pop. I'm a huge fan of Post Malone, so I had to get the pop as soon as I seen it. But yeah, here we have Post Malone and let's unbox him. So I originally picked up Post Malone from Hot Topic, uh, I believe in 2019, which was a year that he was announced actually because earlier on, I believe during the start of the year, uh, one of the Toy Fairs, I'm not exactly sure if it was London Toy Fair or New York Toy Fair, probably New York Toy Fair, uh, this guy got announced. Uh, some cool things about this pop that I noticed is on his face, you can see on this side actually, right there, uh, he has a little smiley face. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. That's the best it's going to get, but um, you can see the smiley face on the, on his left side right there next to the sword, um, the tattoo. Right above that, he actually has a Playboy Bunny tattoo, but for copyright reasons, obviously Funko couldn't put it on his face, which I thought was pretty funny. The one thing I don't like about this pop, it doesn't stand quite properly because you can kind of see he's tilting backwards. Like this is what he would look like normally if he was standing up still, but he just slants backwards because of uh, the head being really, really big compared to his body. But yeah, overall, this is a really detailed pop. On his left hand, you can see he's kind of making a gesture with his hand there, and he has uh, the tattoos on his hand. And uh, you can see in this hand, he's holding a red solo cup with a drink in it. But yeah, on his face, you can see the barbed wire that I was talking about earlier uh, that's on the back of the box. He has a bunch of different tattoos on his face. He has his mustache, his beard, uh, his man bun, which I thought was pretty neat that they added that on. And it really looks cool on his hair because it kind of flows along uh, alongside all the rest of his hair. But yeah, uh, also on his chest, the way I just noticed is he has like a bowl right there. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, uh, but he has a bowl on his chest right there, which is another tattoo. Also, this pop was made about a year ago, so since then, Post Malone has definitely gotten a lot more tattoos on his uh, face and on his body and his hands and stuff like that. So I'm assuming this pop is outdated quite a lot. I originally bought this guy from Hot Topic for about, I believe, $15, and right now he's going for $30 for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why he's up that much. But yeah, overall, they nailed the detail on this pop. This pop is awesome. I'm personally a huge fan of Post Malone, so this was a must-have for me as soon as this came out. Once again, thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. Uh, I know I haven't said it in a video yet, but there should be a video out tomorrow, which we'll be talking about the 3,000 subscriber and a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. If there was a specific pop in my collection that you would want to see me uh, do as a review, uh, just let me in the comments, and I just might do it as a review. But uh, yeah, that's been it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and hit that post, no post notification bell. I can't speak. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what pop you want to see reviewed next, and if you have the Post Malone pop, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.